We are here at the elevators at the Inn at Spanish Bay in Pebble Beach, California, and we're here with Up and Down Hi. Adventures. These are very nice Otis Series 1 from 1988. These have beautiful ornate doors and classic lovely Otis Center Lock. Let's go down to F. Otis Door Sill. That is beautiful. All right, here we go. And this has a digital indicator, which was replaced since I last came here. <coughs> I believe it's fairway because this is the fairway for the golf course. This used to be open to public, I think. Now they made it a restricted storage room. Get out and get a view from I think the window. I've seen one that cost a little more than that, actually. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I want to get out and see the window. Brass Series 1. I don't, I don't see that often. Yeah, it's pretty rare. This, this hoistway access was, was interesting. I don't know if that's Reminds Capco Innovation. Reminds me of, like, Lexan, actually. Yeah, I know. It's really weird. These were installed in 1988, and I don't know that Reminds they ever had like, the Lexan key switch. Yeah, that's pretty unusual. It might be the older Otis keys, like, before the UT Series keys. Yeah, it's very possible. Like, the G Series keys, I think they are. Yeah, I think so. It's had very unusual motors. I actually have the Series 1 Hall Station. Yeah. I didn't bring it or anything, but I actually have the Series 1 Brass Hall Station. Yeah. Oh, I think, I, I, is that the one you have on your uh, profile picture? Or that, oh, um, no, oh, just Series no. 1, you said, oh, that's, that's the vintage one. Yeah. Second one. Nice classical oven. There's your phone. Non ADA compliant red telephone. Very nice. Permit is. used to have the analog indicators. Yes, they did. They were replaced within 2004 to 2013, most likely. Should we go down to F for another ride? Um, I think maybe go. Actually, I want to get a cap view. Yeah, let's get a cap view. This is beautiful. We're going somewhere. This is very nice. I like the wood finish and the handrails. What you see, hey, beautiful. This is nice. Very nice. Maybe it's just parking. Looks like it's just parking at three. It's unusual. Let's see what happens when we open the doors. Oh, yeah, it just parks at random floors for some reason. That's unusual. Is it set to park at three or is it park at another? I, I think it just parks randomly. That's very unique. Interesting fireman phone jack. That's very rare to see on Series 1. Have you ever seen the fireman phone jack on Series 1? I've seen a fireman's phone jack in an elevator before, but maybe not Series 1. Yeah, I know. That's interesting. Or Otis, for that matter. Yeah, I wonder if that was added. That's pretty unusual. I think the fireman's phone jack is like connected to some kind of central system or yeah, something. Yeah, it probably is. Maybe it's you the... can plug something into it. Yeah, it probably is. Maybe it comes from... I don't see it on many elevators. Yeah, it's pretty rare. Fixtures are original still. And that motor pitch is unusual too. I, not that I recall. I think they don't have one. I've looked pretty hard and they don't have one on the map either. A place like this, I'm not sure if I expect one or not. Yeah, I don't think they have it. They have three elevators, but I think since they all hold 3,500 pounds, they use this for service too. Perfect. 
permit is expired, of course, but they have a temporary pending. This is very nice. I think with like those temporary permits, it might be like they can expire when the state wants them to expire, maybe. Yeah, I think that's probably right. That's lovely, very nice. Let's have a look. I like that motor. That pitch is unique for Otis. These have the original LRV control, and the other one has a replaced to LVM. And there you this go. This one or the other bank? The other bank. This one's still original. And that's it. 